decades of neglect. Lister's Mill is being converted into fashionable apartments. The redevelopment will take 10 years, but the latest phase isn't pleasing everyone. Well, look, North has gained exclusive access to the roof of the mill to find out what's happening on top of one of Yorkshire's great Victorian buildings. Our reporter, Spencer Stokes, is there now. Good view. Yes, it certainly is, Harry. And in its heyday, this was the largest factory in the north of England. It produced miles and miles of silk and velvet every week. By the 1980s, though, like many factories, it was facing closure. And there was even talk of knocking this fantastic old building down. That didn't happen. It was converted into apartments. And this is the latest stage that's taking shape around us. These are the arched roofs of what are called penthouse pods that have been constructed right here on the roof of Lister's Mill. It's a building that dominates a Bradford community. Lister's Mill has dwarfed Manningham streets since 1873. But in the last few weeks, there's been a radical non-Victorian addition to the roof of this much loved landmark. There've been all sorts of ideas of whether it's a bar on the roof or quite what it is. But I think really people haven't been too sure until we've started taking the scaffolding back and, and actually people can now see the, you know, the fantastic zinc finish and the actual shape of them as well. When completed, these rooftop pods will be amongst the finest city living pads in Yorkshire, with stunning views across Bradford and beyond. It's all a far cry from Samuel Lister's silk and velvet factory. Well, I think it's breathing life into the buildings and very much it's keeping in the, in the line um, that Samuel Lister had adopted. I mean, he had more patents than anyone else at, at the particular time and he was very entrepreneurial and coming up with new inventions. And really, I think this is you know, something that he'd have been proud of. But not everyone is proud. There are dissenting voices and disappointment that a listed building that was derelict for so long has now been so radically modernised. The complete wrong angle with the wrong type of shape, the wrong sort of materials and do not fit in with the building. And I, I, I defy anybody to argue differently from that. It's something we're going to have to live with. Unless they blow up, hopefully. I mean, there are a number of different ways of dealing with sort of old Victorian buildings. You could take, you'd go back to in keeping incredibly so with the original sort of concept or actually be a, a lot bolder which is what we try to be here and you know I think it'll be you know a legacy that, that hopefully we'll all be very proud of. The 20 penthouse pods will be completed by the end of the year and like so many radical extensions to old buildings they seem destined to divide opinion. Well one thing that doesn't divide opinion are the fantastic views that you get from up here on the top of Lister's Mill. Take a look out over there, that's Bradford City Centre. And then behind the church, great if you're a Bradford City fan and you choose to live up here because that's Valley Parade you see behind the spire. It's also rather breezy up here as well this evening. It certainly catches the wind on top of the mill. This project is by no means finished yet. Two acres of the vast site have been converted. There's a further 10 acres to convert over the next decade or so. Thanks, sir. Thanks for watching. Do you like them? I, I don't mind them, do you? Well, they're different, that's for sure. Well, I remember it for so many years with, you know, sort of tumbleweed blowing mm. through it. At least something is being done. Now, in a moment, I'll be meeting up 